Hello guys, welcome back again. Today's video will be on staircases and design of staircases. So before we start off with the design, we will see some important components of a staircase. I will not go through all the components of the staircase. However, I will show you some of the important components which has to be known before designing the staircases. So the first one is going tread rise waste all of these these three are very important before you start designing the staircase so we'll see first what is a tread so the tread is the upper horizontal position portion of the step over which the foot is placed during ascending and descending on the staircase so this is the upper horizontal portion of the step this whole thing is the step and this is the upper horizontal portion of the step this is called as the tread and it will depend upon the type of the building if it is a public building it will be more and if in a residential building it is a little bit less so typical values are to are in residential building it is 220 to 250 mm and in public building it is around 250 to 300 mm it should not be less than 200 mm in any case okay then the second thing is the rise this part is the rise okay this is the vertical member of the step it is used to support and connect successive treads okay so this is the tread and this is the tread so it is used to connect successive treads this is the vertical portion of the step and it will again depend upon the type of the building and um, the height of riser will be naturally more in public buildings because the amount of crowd in a public building uh, that used the staircase is far greater than in the residential building so for rise in residential buildings it is kept as um, 150 to 180 mm somewhere in between this and in public buildings 120 to 150 mm so these are all empirical uh, these are all empirical values and it is given in the national building code of india so you can check if you want and uh, it should not be less than 200 mm in, in any case okay this was the rise and tread i hope you understood that so the third thing is the waste this part of the slab is called the waste we will denote it as w oh, okay so the waste is an, uh, actually the slab that is supporting the steps and it will uh, uh, that's it uh, it is the slab which is supporting the steps okay we will see some empirical formulas uh, there is only one empirical formula which is used to decide the number of risers and number of uh, treads okay so what is going suppose this is a step suppose one riser is of 150 mm so the going will be the total horizontal distance this part this part will be going so if you want to calculate going you will calculate the number of threads suppose in this case is 1 2 3 4 5 6 the 6 multiplied by 150 so that is your going Okay, so how to adjust the number of risers and number of threads? There is a formula given by National Building Code 2R plus G should be in between 550 to 700 mm. Okay, then what is landing? Okay, this is also an important part. This is the horizontal platform provided at the ends of the series of steps it is used as a resting place during the use of the stairs and uh, it will help in changing the direction and it should not be less than the width of the stair and should preferably not less than one meter so if this is the steps provided at the end a landing is provided it is a platform provided at the end of the flight this is the flight of the stairs and at the end there is a landing Okay, that's all with the components of a staircase. Now let us see the types of staircases. So basically there are two types of staircases. The first is the longitudinally spanning staircase 
and the other one is transverse spanning staircases so let us see the longitudinal spanning one first so in this the flight of stair along uh, along with the landing are supported at the ends on the on a wall or on beams suppose if this is your staircase so only the ends that is the landings are supported on wall or beam at the ends only and the effective span in this case will be the center to center distance between the supports okay so this is the most common ones which is used nowadays in all the buildings now let's see what is the transfer spanning staircases in the transfer sp uh, spanning staircases the entire flight along with the landing is supported in walls along their length so suppose in this case if this is your staircase sorry for the diagram i don't know how to do it okay so this entire thing will be supported on walls so basically this type of staircase will be used in load bearing structures and this will this will be used in framed structures okay that's all with the overview of uh, staircases now let's see what are the design steps involved so basically for uh, the design um, the design ideology used for design of staircases is same as that of a uh, uh, one way slab um, just the difference here is we have to add the loads of each and every steps here because uh, in a staircases this portion acts as a slab and the load of the steps has to be added before designing okay so basically you are designing a one way slab and uh, for that you uh, for suppose if uh, the riser is not given to you the tread size is not given to you and the pitch of the stair is not given to you so for all of this you have to do the geometric design and um, to do the geometric design design here are the steps this is not a structural design this is a geometric design first step is to assume size of tread and risers once you get the uh, size of tread and risers the number of risers will be floor to floor height divided by height of one riser so you will get number of risers so if you are providing a dog like a staircase like this so the number of risers in, in one flight will be number of risers divided by 2 okay then number of treads number of treads will be number of risers minus one this is very natural i don't have to explain this then the going distance which we discussed earlier going distance will be number of tread multiplied by size of tread okay then the fourth part would be width of landing the landing should not be uh, less than the width of the stairs and it should be preferably not less than 1 meter should not be less than 1 meter okay that's all with the geometric design and now i'll show you what is the um, steps for structural design and this will be discussed in the next video